I came up with in the first year, you know, two dry wells. And it was clear that my thesis work wasn't going to go anywhere. That that was, so if I was going to get famous, I had to do something else. So, so I pretty much pitched you know, doing, doing public systems, pitch doing anything having to do with my thesis. And so now you get a clean sheet of paper and five years to get famous. And so I was looking around for something else to work on. And, uh, you, know, Gene, you know, Gene Wong, who was at Berkeley at the time, sort of said, well, why don't you read, uh, you know, Ted Codd's paper. And so, so I read Codd's paper, and I read the uh, Codicil report, the first one in 1971. And the uh, Codicil report made no sense to me. This is the Bachman work you're speaking yeah. of? Mm -hmm. Yes. So I, couldn't, so I couldn't figure out why you would want to do anything that complicated. And Ted, Ted's, you know, Ted's work was simple, easy to understand. And so it was pretty obvious that, uh, I mean, the naysayers were already saying, you know, you know, you, you couldn't, you know, you couldn't, you know, number one, uh, nobody can understand these new fang, you know, nobody could understand Ted Codd's, well, no, nobody who didn't have a PhD could understand Ted Codd's predicate calculus or his relational algebra. And even if you got past that hurdle, nobody could implement this stuff efficiently. And even if you got past that hurdle, you could never teach this stuff to COBOL programmers. So it was pretty obvious that the right thing to do was to build a relational database system with an accessible query language. So Gene and I set out to do that in 1972. 72 is that time period. Okay. And it was kind of, I mean, it was like you didn't have to be a rocket scientist to, to realize that was an, inter you know, an interesting research project. Was your mathematical work specifically unusual or unusually good? No. I'm, in fact, I don't consider myself a very good mathematician. But yet you had no problems in understanding what uh, Ted had done, what Ted Codd had done? Oh, I mean, it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't, you know, to, to, to a computer, well, I mean, the problem with, the problem with, with the problem with Codd's work is that uh, he basically has a first order predicate calculus with existential and universal quantifiers. And anybody who doesn't have a mathematical background, you know, just sort of looks at that and says, you know, what the heck is this Greek?